Hello, everyone. Let me just check some things here. For those of you who don't know, I'm Am, Allo's Earth sponsor. My voice may be familiar to you. That's because Polo tends to use my voice in her communicator. She says my voice is her favorite voice for some reason. I hate the sound of my own voice though. I just need to make an adjustment real quick on my end. Okay, yeah. The camera's now picking up my um, mouth a little better. I was having some troubles before. Okay, so a little different. You guys aren't really used to seeing me. This is my first time on the channel. You may have heard Olo talk about me a couple times, either online somewhere or in the streams. And this is me. I'm Ham. That's her nickname for me. I won't be telling you my real name, so just call me Ham. Uh, so I'm here today because I want to make some quick announcements and show you guys a couple things. Uh, just to give you an idea of what we're doing behind the scenes and kind of what we're hoping to accomplish within the next few months. So let me duck out of the way here. And I'm going to hide the chat alert function, but you'll still be able to see the chat on screen. I'm just hiding the box. Okay, so I've been working on getting some things together. So first of all, we have this Space Friend journal. This is the journal that documents all the things we want to do for the channel and ideas we've had and things we want to work on. You know, that sort of thing. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay, let me make this a little bigger for you guys. So hopefully you can see everything. Okay, so this is the first page of our journal. Uh, it's our laundry list of things that we've been wanting to do for a while. So let's go through it real quick. So you'll notice here um, up at the top we have a costume list. So we were tinkering around with Olo's communicator and discovered that there's filter settings that could allow her to have different costumes during streams. Um, we thought that'd be really nice just to kind of goof around and have fun and maybe for it to be uh, a more interactive experience for people with us in the future. So I'll go through the costume ideas. I'll start with the ones that Olo and I came up with together. Uh, so we have Doodle Olo and the Doodle version is going to be similar to the drawings used on the Sweet Homo Boon uh, gifts and album cover. It was just a really cute style so we thought it would be a really neat communicator skin. Uh, Comic Olo, which is going to be kind of a comic-y, uh, half-tone, layered, sparkly-eyed version of uh, a drawing of Olo. And then we've got Chibi Olo. And that just makes her eyes real big and makes her eyebrows even bigger than they already are, if you can believe it. 
and uh, just uh, TVs her up. Uh, now we'll get into the other one that the uh, love of my life and man I am married to came up with. <laughs> so I asked him, I was like, hey, what would you think would be some neat costumes we could program into this communicator? And the very first thing he said was tempura. No joke, he looked me straight in the eyes, the love of my life, the person I'm married to, promised to forever, and said, tempura. No. <laughs> because I love him. And uh, I think it was a completely silly idea. Uh, we're going to program a tempura function. Uh, so there will be uh, Olo Tempura and then Omu Rice, for those of you who don't know, in Japan, they have a dish called Omu Rice, which is an omelet on a bed of rice with ketchup on top. And I served my husband an omelet one morning with a smiley face on it and ketchup. And he said, look, it's Olo. <laughs> So now, that's going to be a costume as well. We thought it'd be a fun joke. And Ola seems to be really into it. She's a really good sport. Okay, um, some other things we have going on. So over here we have uh, in the top uh, left-hand corner, uh, some doodles of the ideas. You can see the little tempura shape here, little omu rice here. Sparkly eyed comic Olo, get Olo, TV Olo up here. I unfortunately tore the paper in the wrong place, so uh, it didn't really get everything. <laughs> um, but over here under miscellaneous, uh, things I wanted to update for the channel. Over in our about tab, I want to update the look of the tabs. The ones that I have there now are the ones that I created uh, for the first round, but I'm wanting to do it in a different way. I've seen several different people have a full tab that has everything in it, and I think that looks much nicer, and you can get a much uniform shape across the page. So I'm going to go for that kind of look instead of having an image with switch text over uh, and a stinger. So for those of you who've been watching for a while or have seen the old videos, we tested out a transition, a custom made transition, and it never worked properly. I was never satisfied with how it covered the screen or how it helped transition the scene. So definitely on our list is to create a functioning transition between pages. Uh, so as far as music goes, um, since Ola and I create our own music for the channel as well, we want to create um, personalized songs for the waiting uh, scenes and the chatting scenes. So uh, for the opening, closing, and intermission scenes that I have right now, they were just songs that we had made a long time ago. Um, before we had decided to start streaming. And while they work and they're fine, I think I want to do things that are better themed with the channel and uh, with Olo in general. So I want to create a new starting song, a intermission song, and a new ending screen song, as well as some looping songs to go in the background of the just chatting screens. I want to do some better animation as well for the channel. Um, we have been animating in Procreate and it's okay for simple gifts, but we want to be able to do something more complex. So I was saying we need to look into getting a proper animation software. And a stipulation I have is that it cannot be subscription-based. I do not support subscription-based services, and I will not um, support them in any way. 
been my art. So I have a little tentative sticker that I've placed here. And that's because I already have a software that doesn't require a subscription that can do 2D animation and it's Blender. And I've had it on my computer and I've played around with it just for fun uh, unprofessionally for a few years now. So uh, over the course of the next couple weeks, we're going to be learning how to do 2D animation and hopefully be able to create better a better opening scene. Uh, for you guys. So right now it's the just the let's have fun with Olo's spaceship going around it and then coming in to focus. And while I think it's cute and it gets the job done, I definitely want something a little more complex. Uh, and then I was thinking maybe we add an ending screen, something in between when we say goodbye and when the see you next time screen comes up. So maybe something short, maybe extend these both to 30 seconds or so, have something a little more complex and fun. So uh, those are on our list. So this was page one. Let's go ahead and go over to the second page. All right, let me also get this one over for you guys. So this is the second page of our to-do list. Um, so part of the thing with the animations is we also want to do better dynamic weight pages. So right now they're very static. It's just a screen with the text on it. And I've seen a lot of interesting waiting pages uh, while doing some research. So I think it would be neat to have uh, some animations playing as well as uh, things like different art we've done or our social links uh, going across the screen every now and again. Uh, that's probably just a better marketing technique than what we've been going for, but that's part of the learning process, I think. Uh, so we definitely want to change all of our waiting screams to not be so bad. And I have several overhauls that I want to do. Uh, I have a trailer over on the YouTube channel that I absolutely hate. I'm taking it down today. <laughs> it functional. And that's it. I'm not pleased with it. And uh, so that's definitely something that we want to focus on once we get the animation stuff underway. Um, I also want to change the alert GIFs. Uh, we made those in Procreate and they were very simple and get the job done, but we want to do, you know, better things. I want to change the overlays. So if you look here in the top right corner, you can see our alerts function. It's like a little pop-up box. Uh, if I come over here, let me unhide the chat box. So these are really cute. I just want to make them better and maybe be able to figure out if we can program a way that when we hide them and unhide them, they kind of pop in and out like a Windows screen. I don't know if that's possible, but it would be neat. Uh, and then static emotes. So whenever we started Olo's channel, we were under the impression that you could have emotes out of the gate. Unfortunately, that's not true. You can only do emotes uh, once you're affiliate or partner. So we had made a whole batch of three tier emotes and some of them are good enough to already stay, but um, a lot of them, once I put them into an emote tester system, they're too small. Um, they're too complex for the details to be picked up and stuff like that. So we definitely need to overhaul them to be better read in chat and also remove more of the complex ones. Uh, we also want to do the calendar page again and update that. 
um, to match the rest of everything else once we get that done. And uh, part of the animation process, we also want to add animated emo into the uh, system. So we also want to do points prep. We had, again, under the impression that you could have points out of the gate. Um, we had a lot of ideas for audience interaction in the point system. Uh, we have all of the information written down and we were just needing the art for it. Uh, and that's what this section is. It's just creating the icons for the different reward and also deciding what the points rewards are going to be. I had a cosmic gummy set to be the awards point um, icon. Um, because cosmic gummies are something that Olo's told me about before, but the way we drew it, it was too complex for the uh, details to be picked up. So we're definitely going to go back and fix those, um, you know, fix those issues with that icon as well. Uh, there's a list of things here of things we need to fix or improve upon with our camera functions. Um, so you'll notice the top one is to fix my eyes. So my eyes, they look good right now, right? Look what happens when I smile. They're a little lopsided. <laughs> so things like that need to be fixed. I also want to be able to have tracking for my arms on the screen. And that's something that I'm hoping to accomplish as well. Right now, you guys are only going to be able to see me from my waist up, really. Everything else below that's not very dynamic. Uh, we also want to get Olo to be a little more flexible on camera. So definitely we need to add some dancing um, techniques into our routine because whenever we're making music over on Tuesdays, uh, she just kind of stands there and stares and the best dancing she can do is bobbing her eye spots up and down or left and right. She's not really able to wiggle the rest of her body. So we're definitely going to teach her some maybe different dancing techniques, you know, to kind of help cut out those times when we're listening to the song on stream. And maybe, you know, there's a game with a song that just freaking jams and she wants to wiggle. Uh, we also want to do the squishing animation. So our follower alerts has uh, Olo squishing down and popping up. It's a thing that she can do, and she looks very cute when she does it. So we're definitely going to get a squish uh, into the works. And then uh, better reactions. So just uh, more animated reactions, I guess. Polo's communicator allows her to project, like, emoticons out. Uh, Golovians obviously can't do a lot of things. They don't blush, they don't cry, they don't have veins. <laughs> So the communicator projects out things that help indicate her tone. And we just want to be able to teach her to maybe move a little too when those things come out. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. I have some supplementary notes here. These are things that I thought of last minute. And didn't get a chance to put into the notebook before today's uh, meeting. So here we go. We've got uh, more dynamic and personalized music gifts. So over on our YouTube channel, whenever we post a song, we also post a short GIF that goes with it that just repeats on. And we want to be able to get uh, good at uh, using the animation softwares and creating GIFs specifically for the song. Right now we have one GIF that we just plop in and use for all the songs we've made on stream. But I think it'd be nice to, or, uh, nice to mix it up a bit. And then 
uh, maybe do some music videos for Sweet Home of Boon. Not every song on the album, but definitely probably Plopple Parade and Making Space Friends would be the top candidates for music videos. Uh, we want to create better thumbnails for Twitch and for YouTube. Right now they're very basic and really reminiscent of mid like uh midlife youtube i guess at this point and the modern thumbnails look a lot different so we want to try and modernize it just to make it look a little professional uh seasonal props so Polo likes being a little festive sometimes, and we've got some ideas for some props that will go near her communicator, or uh, like here, maybe in the summertime, she can use a uh, like a pool party. But uh, with the seasons coming up, we're thinking maybe something fall themed, maybe something with a little pumpkin and some fall leaves. And then for the winter one, maybe just a nice little patch of holly. But those are very easy to come up with. Props are very easy to work with uh, and create. So those will definitely be able to get done pretty quickly. Um, and I put this here again. I forgot I put it in the journal. The songs for the just chatting. Uh, Olo and mine will be two separate songs, and I think maybe that's what I was trying to convey here that I didn't get in the other one. And then badges overhaul. So we did create badges as well, and they're not, uh, again, same issue as the other stuff. They're too large and too detailed for what they're going to be seen. And so we need to go through them and uh, chibi them up a bit and refine them down to just the details. So that's it for our notes and for the things we'll be working on. But we have something else as well. We have a community board. And this board is going to be for milestones we accomplish and to give special thanks to um you know the people that have helped us out and uh followed us around during our stay here so uh right now we have our first follower up here gelled gastropod and you can check them out at s gastropod vt on uh twitter they were our very first follower that decided to stick around so they get a special place on our board. And we have a picture from our first stream. You can't really see it here, but there's a little tag that says it was bad. It was bad. We had no idea how to do any audio mixing. So that was a, a fun learning curve, you can see. Uh, over here, we have information about our first raid. Let me move this over. So the first time we got raided, it was by that maestro guy uh, on August 30th. It was just a couple days before our one month anniversary, and it really meant a lot to us. He gave us a neat little ticket for his concert hall, and you guys should definitely go see the show sometime if you ever get the chance. Uh, so he was that maestro guy, and you can also find him at the same tag on Twitter, Spotify. He makes music as well. Um, so definitely go give him uh, a look and support him. Okay. Uh, and then we have a lot of um, friends here who have followed us that also have YouTube channels. And so we wanted to give them a place where we can shout them out thank them for supporting us and uh hopefully direct you guys to support them as well so uh one of the big ones is belly she came in with uh that guy maestro's uh raid and uh stuck around and she's got a um, couple of great channels she's got spelly does art 
and X Spellcraft X. The Spelly Does Art is her art channel. She's done a lot of work to it recently and it's very amazing. I think you guys should definitely check it out. And then the Spellcraft channel is where she plays games and uh, other stuff like that. Then we've got Jixoy. He also came in with the Maestro Raid. And uh, he streams uh, video games and art and animation over on his channel at the same name. So you guys should definitely check it out. Uh, Beth Benny, so she's a Bionicle VTuber. And something really neat about her is she makes a lot of models, uh, 3D models and stuff on stream. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Twitch has a big Bionicle VTuber community. And they're really neat people. Then we have uh, Madma. They came in and um, were one of our first Twitter followers. And uh, they came in and met us on stream. And they're really great. Uh, they do art commissions as well. And I believe they have a donation site. Uh, I believe their mother's a teacher. So if you guys want to help out with that, that fund, definitely uh, go over to their Twitter page and then uh, support them at madmut underscore TV on Twitch as well. And then I'm going to do a shameless plug and say check out Amandi. For those of you who don't know, Amandi is my husband. And he does stream sometimes over on Twitch as well. Usually during the weekends. He's not like professional, I should say. Um, he doesn't talk a lot, but he plays things like Dark Souls and Gears of War and uh, gets into some funny shenanigans anyway. So definitely give him, you know, give him a look if you're so inclined. Okay. Well, that was everything we wanted to cover. So I thank you guys for putting up with my face, even though you came here for Olo. And uh, we'll be right back. And uh, Olo will go through her art stream as well. So thank you. Was that fun enough? You guys got to see Ham for the first time. Sorry if it was a bit of a huge dump of information that took up 30 minutes of our time. But uh, we wanted to share with you guys things we were doing and things we were excited about. Uh, so let's definitely get into our art. Let me. Let me see here. I'm going to have to try and add this in again. For some reason, my iPad's not showing on the screen. Let me go in here and try to fix it. Here we go. Let's get this into the right place. Sorry about this. You guys had to sit through quite the info dump and now you got to sit through me fixing this. Okay. 
Here we go. So today we are working on this little globe in a spaceship. Did not mean to move my atrium around. Oh, uh, we're definitely going to be able to get several different things in on stream. Oh, hello, Jess Chloe. Oh, sorry, communicator. That's our friend Jex. Uh, it's going good. You just missed Ham. <laughs> she was here for the first uh, 30 minutes, but we'll definitely clip her and show her off later. Uh, we're fixing to begin doing some art on Procreate. How's your day going? Let's get this started. Gonna make sure that our sketch is on top. Gonna turn down the opacity, change this to multiply. Tex always says I miss all the fun stuff. No, you really don't. Um, Ham was just giving um, information about things we're working on on the channel and uh, things we're working on in the background. Things like getting my communicator fixed up to be able to do. Uh, costumes and filters and stuff like that. And uh, just some other things we were wanting to work on. So, um, Jex is doing all right. Looking forward to the Delta Room sweepstakes in less than an hour. Yeah, that's a huge thing that's taken over everywhere, isn't it? Spamtim got free, didn't he? We're in trouble. Let's uh let's get over here. And I'm just gonna use the model line brush. And I've got this uh coppery color here that I like to use for the spaceships. There's different models of Galobian spaceships, but this is the one that I came to Earth on. So let's just Get this shape in and fix it up in the corners. Well, thank you for supporting us, Chicksoy. It's good to see you around here. We always love having our space friends here. Get everybody fixed up there. And then it Let's put in the little feet. Galobian spaceships have three nubs at the bottom, two in the front and one in the back, and the two in the front, one's on the left, and one's on the right. And the one in the back is kind of more centered. And it just kind of helps it keep in place because it is a very egg-shaped vessel. It will roll around everywhere if you don't have little nubs for it. Gonna get a new layer for our rocket uh, thruster here. So let's get this shape put down. Get it filled in and then we're gonna fix this corner. Or these two didn't really meet. Here we go. We're definitely going to be able to get in several drawings this time. A lot of the sketches that I have lined up are very simple. Uh, this one with the spaceship, and then I have just uh, some Galobian families in the next one. And then we'll be able to start working on a larger project that I have the sketch set up for. So that's something we are looking forward to. I need to make this a little more legible. Here we go. Much better. Okay. Let's get the glass put down. And I'm going to change the color of the background just so it's easier for us to see the glass. We're going to darken it a little. Just like that.
So get our shape down, and this needs to be under the rocket parts. I'm going to adjust the shape a little, just because it's a little off. Okay, that's much better. Let's get this down. And we're going to turn down the opacity to about 25. We'll get a new layer under everything. And I need to check something to see if something works. I may have fixed the thing, but we'll see if that's truly the case. And you know what, guys? I went to start some music for you. And I forgot. I was too excited. Okay, got some music going. That was much better. All right, let's see if this will work. Really? Really, you're not going to work for me? I'm trying a different bot. I was on Moobot, now I'm on Nightbot. Seems like they still don't work. Let's see, it's connecting to chat. Maybe I can push it out over here. Still doesn't want to work. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some more work on that. But for now, back to the art. Okay, so um, now we just need to do the gel inside of the ship. Let me see, what color do we want this gel? <laughs> I really tried, Jexoy. I really tried. But we'll try again later. Um, I'll definitely try to fix it again off stream today. Because I want to shout you guys out because you're really cool. Uh, let's do a green. I think I haven't done a green gill in a spaceship. Um, I've done red, I know. I've done yellow. I've done blue. Let's do it. Let's do a green. And uh, I'm going to... Uh, Turn the opacity on this spaceship up a little bit just so we can see the outline a bit better. And we're gonna put this gill pretty close to the edge. And we're gonna edit the shape so that they're pressed up against the glass pretty firmly. We take up most of the space in our ships, very efficient. Since we don't uh, need supplies or anything, we just get to take up the whole ship. Okay. And then let's get in here and add some spots. Do a clipping mask on this. Put this down to 30. Uh, we'll duplicate this bottom layer and pull it up. This one we'll put at 80%. And we need to go back down to the bottom one and put it at 75. Because Galobians are kind of see through. Uh, Jix always says, being in a friend's chat is rewarding enough. Well, thank you. Hmm. Um, where was I? Right. Uh, adding details. So, let's go back to monoline. 
get a nice black color and let's get some eye spots down. I guess I'll keep them in the general place. I need to lower the opacity of the gel a little more. They're a little too opaque. Let's do that. This one will be uh, 30. This one is 80. And then we're going to get our speckles in, our nice little cell clusters with a darker brown. These allow us to photosynthesize. Nice freckles on this gal. And then with textured mist at the same color, we're just going to kind of go around spots on the edges. And I need to increase the size a bit. Just in some places. I think that's fine. okay and that does it for our gill let's just group these up we'll just name it gill and then we'll group these and this is chip So now we need to go and add the ship details. So with our darker brown color and monoline, we're going to come in here and add some details. But I think I'm going to turn off the sketch because it's a little off center. And I need to go ahead and do some fixing here. I think we'll have it a little more straight. Okay. And then we'll go add our details. So we have this little side panel on our ship some blinking lights on it so people know we're coming. It's a big problem because we're such a tiny ship. And we can't really see where we're going. We have to trust our auto nav systems. Again, our eyes are only able to differentiate light and dark. We can't really tell objects. We also need to bring this eye down. You know, make sure this is set to uniform. Check here. Yep. Uh, so now we just need to get down the light. And then we need to get down the details on the thruster. Yes, small ship. If you don't know, Galobians are only like three feet tall and we can squish down pretty compactly. This is basically a one foot tall space egg. But the thing about flying through space is it doesn't matter how small you are. You can be a grain of sand and destroy a planet if you're going fast enough. So that's why we have blinking light. Because we can't see where we're going, and we can't change course, so you better go around us. Better hope you're paying attention to- Hey, it's my unofficial theme song. I'll have better wiggles in the future, but this is all I can do. I can just move my eye spots to dance right now.
I think I'll just get a little line here to kind of hint at. Let me make sure I'm on the right layer. That the ship is kind of in front. Get this to a clipping mask and erase back this line. Let's go ahead and do one for this leg too. Kind of indicate where it's at on this side. Get this into the right place. it away. Get this button pulled back a little. So you can kind of tell where that leg meets on that side. And we'll get it our nice light. Details here. The bar is not uh, completely solid. It's got some other sections to it. So let's turn down this model line size. I had it on max. We'll do about 29. And we'll get the different segments put in. I think we're going to lower that opacity to about 50. And let's see here. I'm going to move me a little up. My eyes keep getting cut off whenever I look down at my iPad. Uh, we need to duplicate the set of lights. We're going to move this section above them, change it to an add layer, and then blur it. You want to blur it just so the center is bright, so that it's still a little glowy. Then we're going to turn down the opacity here. And then I'm also going to make sure this is not set to clipping this because it's glowy. And then we go down to the basic brush pack over here in Procreate and Luminate. We'll use Light Tint. And we're going to get in some brighter lines here. Also going to get little circles in here. And then we're going to lower the opacity on this. Just kind of gives more depth to the bulb of the light. Okay, that's basically it for a Gale spaceship. Let's get some background in here. He's definitely going to be flying through space. So, 
since he's flying through space, we also need to get his uh, travel light in. Let's get monoline brush again. Do a sphere around. And then we're going to do a tail where it's smaller out there and larger there to kind of give it a uh, path of travel. And then we're going to fix the shape so that it matches a little better. actually a race back. Yeah, we'll do it more like that. Get our selection tool. Just come here between the two yeah, sections. And then press clear. And then we'll round off these edges. My music just froze. Let's see what's going on with that. My face! It's frozen too. Alright, let's do some quick troubleshooting. I know. Tears of pain and suffering. It always happens when you're streaming, you know? <laughs> it waits. It lurks. Patiently. Yay! I can move! Happiness! Okay. Oh, and we got sound. Thank you. Thank you for the welcome back. Boy, oh boy, do I not know how to set up a stream properly. I could have sworn I made this a lot bigger. Oh well. Back to the art. Let's fix this comment. I definitely need to turn up my eraser. What? What am I using? Yeah, I'm on monoline. I just need to turn it up. And then let's round this off a bit better. I think that made it worse. Somehow. I just really need to get rid of this little edge, I think. You know what? It's time. Delete your art. We're going to just start that layer again. gonna do it better. I'm gonna move this down to make sure it's over the ship. And on a different line, we're gonna do the tail. I'm gonna do it small over there, large over here. And then I'm going to distort it into place.
think like that. And then let's erase this end back here. Uh, thanks for the compliment, Jixoy, um, on the music. It's stuff that I made myself. Um, the playlist is sorted from oldest to newest. So all these songs at the beginning of the playlist are things I made back in 2015. Uh, just for fun. And then later on in the playlist, I have the stuff that I've worked on recently. And uh, I have the album Sweet Home of Boon at the very end because it's the very last thing that I've made. Okay, much better shape. Let's merge these two. I accidentally merged down the ship too. And then let's turn the opacity down on this to about 30. And let's get some space junk in the background. Well, thank you again. Uh, I don't think I'm that good. Especially not at this stage. <laughs> this stage of music I was definitely just completely fiddling. But I only put my favorite songs on this playlist, and I have a lot of garbage songs from this time, too. Okay, let's get this nebula down in the basic brush pack. Select the light blue color. Oop, much too small. Let's get that up. Let's get the clouds just put in. Maybe we'll just have like a, a general um, gas formation back here. <laughs> Jack's always said I didn't stutter. It's all good. Right after he stuttered. Okay. I'll ignore the first part. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. I will learn to accept compliments better. Who are my space friends? Uh, let's get rid of the sketch layer. Let's get down a yellowish cloud over here in this corner. And we'll go ahead and merge those down. Get a whitish yellow with glimmer. Gonna turn the size up. Or we're just gonna do a scatter. These ones are going to be a little brighter, so I think we'll leave them around 80%. And then we'll get our distant ones here in a second. It's a pretty large file, so it doesn't allow me to have a lot of layers. I'm going to merge. You know what? Uh, I've got a better idea. We're just going to resize the image. I need to shrink everything before I do that or it'll flip it all. That's the thing about Procreate is on larger images it doesn't let you have very many layers. I'll do it about there. And then we'll resize it. And that'll allow us to have more layers. Uh, we're gonna do smaller scatters now. We'll kind of do a line like this. Maybe some back here. Not in that corner. We'll make that corner dark. Because it helps draw attention back to the light part, which is our fill. I forgot to turn down the spaceship class again, so we're gonna go fix that. There we go, now you can see the bright green gill. They don't look like pea soup anymore. Well, I mean, they may look like pea soup, but 
a more appetizing version of PC. And I think um, we'll just do some basic shading on the ship and lighting and then we'll be good. So let's go on to the glass layer. We'll do clipping mask. Get white color. We're gonna make sure we're back on, on the line. And we're gonna come in here and add some shine. So let's see, we've got let's turn this up a little more so I can see what it's what I'm working with. Let's not do a clipping mask here, actually. I'll just make sure that I'm working in the lines. We're gonna get a shine. Nice little window shine. And then we're gonna turn down. The opacity on it, like that. Okay, I need to decide how I'm going to shade this. Am I going to do it with a hard line, a soft line? Mm. Do I want it spray? I usually do it with the texture. Yes. So I guess let's just keep on what we're doing. I'm going to select the base color again. I'm going to drop its darkness and its saturation. And that'll give us a nice shading color. And we're just going to come in here and do some shading work. And that's a little too unsaturated, not dark enough. Let's come down here. Okay, that's better. Let's also do it on the main ship. Let's see. Uh, it's going to be darker down here. And this little leg is going to be pretty dark. Uh, since it's in the middle, it's a little further back in the background. up my brush a little actually. And then let's get some lighting. I'm just gonna do a quick kind of sketch of where I want the lighting to hit. We'll do one kind of up in this area because this light will kind of reflect down there. We'll do one kind of on the rim here and here. And then we'll do lighting here and then leave this part under it darker as in the lip is casting kind of a shadow. And right here. Then maybe we'll do some secondary lighting closer around the bulbs. All right, I'm gonna move this out. This is purely for reference. I'm gonna select my light blue color again. Let's make it lighter, almost white. Go back to our texture to mist, come down. And I don't think I'm like the texture mist brush for 
this effect. Let's actually just do soft brush. down here. in and fix it in a moment. gonna kind of lightly come in here and connect these a little. Because this panel is gonna be very bright with the light. And then I'm going to do a blur. And then let's adjust the opacity to be more appropriate. I think that's good. And then let's add in some of the other spots. We'll get this top node uh, kind of here. And I think that was it. Do a quick blur. Let's adjust this back down. This. I'll merge these two together. And yeah, I had got everything on my sketch, so let's get rid of that. And let's go back and redo the shadows. work right here. So we're finally getting into the modern stuff. Let's get this into place a little better. There's going to be a shadow here because the thruster is a little more behind in the center. So the light from the side kind of casts a shadow over that edge. So we're going to put that there. I'm also going to adjust the opacity. Because you want it dark, but not too dark. Let's see. This is actually the current uh, Starting Soon song. So it's the song that everyone gets to hear while they're waiting for me to begin. Go here. And here. And then a little whip. Accidentally switched to eraser. Just a little on this edge. Make sure this leg back here is a little bit of And then let's get, we'll do a new layer. Let's turn down the opacity on this. Uh, and then we'll get a smaller shadow. 
if that's lower or burst size. We'll get a smaller shadow just after this panel on either side because the panel kind of sticks up a little so the lights kind of catch on it and cast a shadow. And let's actually make sure this is below the line. looking good. Let me take a look. Let's look at the thumbnail size. Okay, that's looking good. I'll do a close-up inspection. I think I'm going to slightly blur the window just to the edges are fuzzy. Here we go. And I think this is it for our, our gal in a ship. Let's move on to another drawing. So here I just got different groups of gills that I'm going to paint. I'm going to preemptively shrink this canvas. Get that adjusted. And then uh, same treatment, change this to a multiply layer, lower the opacity. And we'll work under it for now. So let's get the monoline brush again. And uh, just choose some colors. Let's get, we'll start with a gray gill. So, um, galobians come in a variety of colors, but they're set to uh, just a handful of colors. And it's just kind of randomized since we're all kind of clones of our parent. Uh, you'd think we would be the same color, and we are after Plopple stage. Um, we change though. So when we're in Polyp, after we, you know, plop off to the ground and become a Plopple, um, our genes kind of change themselves a little just so we're not, you know, such a vulnerable species. Uh, so sometimes your color changes too. But uh, the colors we have are red, green, blue, gray, and uh, yellow. So I'm just going to get a gray gill down. Let's see. We'll make this plopple. We'll make him a gray. And since they're close by, one of these is probably going to be their parent. We'll say this one. And uh, maybe we'll make this long guy back here um, gray too. He's really stretching himself out. Let's fix this shape a little. Galobians don't usually move like that. Unless they're really, really just trying their best. It's a little painful to squeeze into different shapes. But I mean, if it looks cool, you know, you might 
be willing to put up with the pain a little bit more than a normal gal. Uh, then we'll get our blue color. Uh, we'll make this one here with the little polyp blue. the song in here twice. I could have sworn we were just on it. Okay. We'll go on to the next one. Let's get maybe this one. Also blue. Change their footing here to be more on the ground. Yeah, that's better. And then we'll do some red. We'll do the broad one over here. So it's a little fixed up. And then we'll do this guy. I actually think we're, let's do him a different color. Just because he's behind there. I don't want to mess up with our layers. Got this young girl here. And then behind the gray, let's do green. do this guy green let's get his face down here we go and then we'll make this one here that also has a popple. We'll make them. Green. They've got a polyp here. So they're very lucky. It looks like they had a popple and then polyped again pretty soon after. A little rare. Not unheard of, but rare. And then look at their flopple color in here up front. Okay, let's turn off our sketch. Because it's not needed no more. No more. Okay, let's turn all these down to 80. And I'm going to take a quick moment. I'm going to get some mist on my skin. Because that's how Colobians drink. So give me a second. Let me mist up. Okay, 
uh, back from my Mustang. So, let's see. Um, let's go ahead, duplicate all of our layers. Fill in all of the top ones. Fill lower to 30%. These are the outer jail. And this is our ending song playing now. So on our See You Soon page, this is the one that plays. All right, let's get our eye spot color and let's get our eyes in. I like the eyes placement in the sketch, so let's bring them back. And we're working with our greens right now. So we'll get the little eye spot there. And let's get the eye spots over on this friend. Get the polyps eye spots in. That one's eye spots already formed. He's just hanging out, taking in the, the light of the world already. Work with our grays now. Get the popples eye spot here. And then our stretchy dude back here. All right, now we're on the blues. And let's get the blue eye spot. this popple or this uh polyp too just get in there a little eye spot see in the big bright world out there and we are putting eyes on the red get this adolescent gill a nice eye spot thing and then this uh, broad gill. And then the top green gill is the last one that needs eyes. This little plopple here. can get rid of the sketch and we just got some real neat bubbles let's get down their details now make sure they're clipping masks at the bottom layer and then with white we're gonna get the spots down we're on the background green and we're just gonna try and get a nice mix of big and small specs down to brown 
And then let's get down their spells. Let's get down their little brown spot. I need to turn down the size. There we go. That gets them a little better. And then extra mess. Pretty high. There we go. Get them kind of in the edges. Okay, let's group these into a layer. And we're going to rename this green back. And then we're just going to go through and do the same thing for all the others. Where we do some spots. And we're with the grays now. smaller bubbles on the smaller gills. We're just trying to prevent overlapping bubbles as much as possible. Okay, and same thing. Lower it down to 30. Then we need to get our flex then. Our speckles. And 30 was too too low. These were 55. Get our nice speckles in. This little guy too, we're gonna have to turn down the brush so we can get them. There we go. I think the gray gills look really pretty because their speckles kind of look gold in them. Down our specks over there. We're on Tito Moon. Okay, uh, let's get our mist. Mist up the edges. Okay, and now we can group all of these. And these can just be gray. How do you guys spell gray? E-Y-A-Y. I've seen it both ways and I've had people tell me both ways are wrong and both ways are right. I don't know. I don't even think humans can decide. I need to check our stream status, see how we're doing. Looks like we're caught up. Okay. Let's get in here and move to the blues. Get this down to 55. 
and then get our speckles. Oh, gotta make sure these are on a clipping mask. And then we need to get the image. Make sure our little Popple has their mist as well. The misty looking spot um, of brown on a Globian are more densely packed uh, photosynthesizing cell colonies than our normal run-of-the-mill uh, like freckles speckles. Those are a little bit more floaty. They go where we need them to. Uh, whereas the textured mist is more like on the top parts of our skin and tends to stay in one place and that's on the outer edges. Um, and they do a lot of the work but our speckle freckles um, really help us in dark environments. They can do a little more with a little less. Okay, we're done with the blue. Let's group them up. Rename this blue. And get our white for our spot. Mm. Just trying to get in. Some stuff. Let's redo this one. Bring this down to fifty five. And then we'll get in the speckles. I'll wear them for the young girls. We can get them in there. Get the textured mist in. Make sure we're on the right color. And get the edges. Okay, and then group all these. Rename them to red. Okay, and then last batch. And it's our um, little green one up front. Let's lower the brush size since we're working with such a small gal. this to five. I can't drive 55 um get our speckles in we are gonna have to lower our brush again there we go Let's zoom in so you can see this beautiful gal
and let's get the mist. Gonna make sure these are on a clipping mask. Let's do like a very basic abstract background for these. Let's get these grouped and renamed. Green. Front. There we go. Okay, uh, now behind everything. Let's just choose a soft, like, peach color. Then let's just do random shape. Change it up. We'll desaturate this one a little. Let's fix this. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a distort. Just get it in place where that gel is. And I don't know, let's get some color help. Analogous. Yeah, we'll do this color. We'll keep it kind of pinkish. So this one is a little too saturated. So we're definitely going to desaturate it. Let's fix this corner here. And there we go. There's just a happy group of gills. Okay, we do have um, time to start on our next project here. And this one's a little larger. This one's going to take uh, a little bit more time than the other ones. Uh, so I split this one into three different parts. And my thought behind it is we'll get a sliver of each part of Uboon uh, into this. So let me just get a pencil here. So this side is the part that's tightly locked to the sun. So it's our desert region. This side is our winter region. And this side is our Goldilocks zone. This middle sliver here. So I'm going to take a moment real quick. And I'm going to pause our music here. I'm going to put you guys on the Be Right Back screen. And I'll be back in a second. Got to take a short break. But we'll see you in a moment.
Okay, and we're back. All right, so got a quick break, real quick break. Now we're gonna start on this bigger drawing. So excited. Okay, so I'm going to have to change the canvas size. It's gonna have a lot of parts to it. So let's shrink down uh, the image. I yeah, will do it about there and then bring down our canvas. Okay. So now we can start. Let's set this to multiply, lower the opacity. Get everything uh, kind of mapped out under it. We'll use monoline as our main brush and I'll turn the music back on. And I'm going to mark down uh, where the thirds are real quick. We're going to lower this. I don't think I want there to be a line in the painting. I think it's going to be, uh, you know, one of those where it's just hard transitions. But for my mental note right now, um, we're going to place this down there just so that when we're coloring, things are a little easier to understand. Okay, let's get down our orange plateaus and stuff here. And we'll make sure each plane is on its own. Layer. And we're gonna get these stones here. Get a new layer. Look at the ground. I forgot. I could just use the edge of the canvas as a shape edge. Let's make sure completely under this. Jigsaw says, I'm back from the Spantum Sweepstakes. What a wonderful, bizarre time. <laughs> was it? Um, I'm sure it was. Uh, everything that Toby Fox works on is just phenomenally wacky. Uh, do you know who won? I don't even know what the sweepstakes was for, to be honest. <laughs> Let's uh, get this other plateau back here. You know, I forgot to set up my stream manager again after our break. Let's see here. Let's get down this shape of our plateau. And then another one behind those. And then we'll get this. And we'll get this here along this line. No, I don't, don't want 
a polygon there. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got those down. Underneath all the rocks, let's do a quick sky layer. Let's see, we'll do a little sky layer over here. I'm probably going to cover up a lot of this with the dust storm, but Definitely need to have it in the works. Down. And I definitely need to adjust the colors on these. As bright as the tube worms, and I don't really need that right now. These need to be a little less saturated. Yeah, 44% desaturation really helps fix it. Situated. And then here too. Okay, much better. Um, let's work on getting down our tubes and they are bright orange you can kind of see one if you look in the top right corner of my screen you can see my atrium in the background and you can see my little tube friend back there um i actually need to adjust the colors I'm going to have to turn down the saturation on this again. We're not this bubblegum pink, I promise. It's just the paper texture that we're working with from Calvin at Drifter Studios. It has some layers on it that cause everything to be kind of hyper saturated because it's meant for watercolor uh, art and since it's such a, a thin uh, translucent paint uh, doing the paper like that helps really make the painting pop out. You know, I've created several new layers with nothing on them. Okay, back to the tubes. The worm tubes. Let's get some worm tubes in here. I need to turn down my brush too, so I can get a little finer detail. Get the tube. A rare one tube. That's a lone worm there. 
one lonely, lonely worm guy. Come on, communicator, work with me. Make sure I'm not missing any of the top before I move to midsection. We're good. This tube. Tubes a little more forward facing, so you're not really seeing much of the second arm. Okay, and let's get our sun to put in. I'm gonna duplicate this. Change this to add to a Gaussian blur and lower the opacity. So it's kind of glowing and bright, like a sun. Okay. So right now I'm just going to work with general colors. Let me get back in here. I'm going to turn the paper off real quick to show you. This is what all the colors are without the paper texture. So this paper texture is adding a bunch of saturation and contrast. And you know what? I may actually like it. The paper texture adds too much detail to get rid of it. Uh, we're going to do some foreground rocks now. So I'm going to turn off the ground layer so I can see them a little better. Just going to get a little rock right here. And one over here. Okay, we can add this back. I'm gonna add the gills and the other details later. For now, let's call this panel one. Okay, let's get down our base colors. We're going to copy the sky color over even though most of it's going to get covered later. So let's go in here and select that. And then we'll come over here. Add the sky. And then let's just can can you to block it out? I need to make sure I have an arm on this side too. There we go. That's nice and closed off. And this is the side of the planet that has more greenery. Let me pre-desaturate this. Anyway, it's uh, more, a little more habitable than the rest of the planet. Get some nice wobbly brown lines put in. 
make sure you fix this. And let's get these rolling hills put in. Okay, and then we'll get this hill put in. Need to fix part here. Okay, and get that added. And we'll get the brown down here. Get all that closed off. And then we'll get the other side real quick. Need to fix up the shape a little. That one goes into the cave a little bit. And then we'll have it turn to stone for that point. So above it, let's just do a nice gray color real quick. And we actually want it to be behind. I think we need to do a little more cave here. And okay, let's do some cleanup on this layer. Go like this. Let's get this. I just need to get rid of this like and we'll just do cave on that side okay and then let's get some water Okay, and then let's get the colors of the tubes. 
everything into place. song was the favorite of mine of the three sisters oriented songs that I made. The one I'm most proud of of those three. Boy, this is an old worm. His tube is huge. I also forgot to go put a watercolor in that waterfall. I'll go do that. Quick. Gotta make sure it's above everything. Just get in stone shape in a couple places. And I'll go through and fix up the rest later. Let's get this moved down. Okay, that fill. And go back to tubes. Looks like we just got the oldest tube back here. Okay, and let's work on the other plant. one spot where I overpainted. Okay, this one up here too. There's any more broad plant. Nope, I think that was it. Okay. Now we just need the stone plant. And this layer actually needs to be down here. I'm gonna have to desaturate this again, I forget. There we go. Oops. I 
put that on the wrong layer. Plant there and one up here. Plants on Oboon are more like corals and the oceans here on Earth. They're more living organisms like animals than plants. Uh, so that's a thing. Okay, I think I've got the basic colors down. I just need to get down a couple of stones in the foreground. And a couple here in the skin. Get those down. Let's get the basic colors for the third part put down. Let's group all these together. This one is panel two. Carl! I don't know why it has such a problem. It just Hates everything I write. Absolutely everything. I just remember that every time I try to write ice, it keeps giving me K-E. I know I don't have hands, but come on. Uh, sorry. Uh, Jex always says, <laughs> love the texture you use for your art. Uh, thanks. The paper texture is actually provided by Calvin at Drifter Studios uh, over on Etsy. Uh, Angerolo. Yes, it happens on occasion. Usually when I'm trying to name something. Panel. There we go. That's so hard. Need some icy grays for the eyes. Okay, let's get this done. Gonna do a little iceberg cliff over here. Do I? Something's going on in this playlist. I'm pretty sure we've played this song already. Oh, I was mistaken. Okay, let's get. Our foreground ice here. There we go. And then we need to get our back cliffs here. Look 
attack it. And then let's get that sky color again. Get the sky put down. There we go. I'm going to get rid of these lines now. Okay, so step one. Got all the basic colors down for the main bits. Now let's focus on cleaning up these edges and then we'll go and do some more details. Uh, let's group all these. Panel. Yes, three. And then uh, we need to go back into panel one. We need to fix this cliff here. Let me turn off our paper. I could grab the controller. Am I not on the right layer? I don't think I'm on the right layer. Where am I? Here I am. Okay. I need to respec the sky in panel two. That's what's happening. And then I just need to merge these two together a little better. Let's go here. Oop. Got the eraser still. There we go. And we'll come back here to the sky and erase it back a little. go and then let's fix up the green patch. Maybe I'll do a little bit of an eraser. And I think in order for the image to be a little more coherent, we need the broad uh, plant to go into the next scene. So let's get over to its layer and finish it out. That'll help kind of pull them together. I think I need to erase this lump back here a bit. Gotta figure out which lump it is. Okay, it's this lump. And we also need to paint in more green. I know I just selected that green. How dare you? How dare you not? Leave it. Okay, so that part uh, is looking acceptable. Let's move over here. We definitely need to do some work over here. Let's start with the cliffs since we've got the green selected. 
Oh, again, it's the sky that's the issue. Oh, before we go to the next panel. Get the cerise back a little. Gotta make sure I'm on the right layer. Hmm. Get the ice layer. That's causing it to get cut off there. in the wrong layer. Okay, let's fix up the screen over here. This is my favorite song. Well, second favorite. Popple Parade's really my favorite, but Helping's pretty good too. Do, 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 do. Those edges are looking good now. Now that the edge issue is fixed, I think the next thing I want to do is move on to some of the finer details and getting them colored in, such as the gills and everything. So let's group these into another group. And this will be green. Okay. Let's get these little air plants in. And I don't think I'll be able to get model lines smart enough. I'm going to use the pen I used to do anime. I know I can get that pretty small. Oh, we got the stems in. Now let's get their stocks. That's not the right color. A little more vibrant yellow. I don't really have to get their shape correct because it's such a tiny, such a tiny workspace. If you look, over on the left hand side, right underneath the chat box, you can see one of these little plants too in my atrium. They don't have like a flower, they've got kind of this rocky knot. Again, Plants on Oboon aren't really plants, they're more like corals. And that goes for the little guys too. I 
Okay, I'm gonna group these. And this will just be small. Okay. Okay. Now I can go back to our monoline brush. And we can put some gills down. I think I'm just gonna go down the list. We'll start with blue. Some blue gills first. To see where I wanna put them. I don't want the blue on blue. That was a bad idea. I don't know why I did that. We'll make this backwards sunning gill blue. She's getting nice and squat. Really um soaking up that sunlight. Nice and proper like. Okay, let's see. And, uh, we'll make this one blue, too. Okay, like that. Get a green in here. Maybe this one back here. They've got a little polyp on them. We'll do this tall one. Okay, Extremophile was a pretty good song too. Uh, then on a new layer, let's get some gray. And we'll put this one here as a gray one. And get the polyp here. And we'll do this gray one up here. You know what? Second thought, no. I don't want gray on gray. So we've got this gal here moving up the mountain, trying to get to a better sun and rock place. Maybe trying to get to the very top here. Finding a good place to catch sunlight is very important to a Galubian. I'm sure you can imagine. Okay, let's do red. Put this one up here. And they're gonna be nice and squat, enjoying the sun. Let's see, did I have any on this one? No. Okay, so those are all the gills in that scene. So let's group them and just rename it gill. And then let's do the same for the other scene. Group all these. To scene. Score. 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 Just score. Really? Really? Ah, just try this again. 
15. There we go. I'm gonna go back here. Uh, move these into this folder and then move them up to the top. Okay. Piano two. Get some gales in. Let's get a yellow gill. Maybe this squat one here can be yellow. Ooh, this one here doing the nice bend. Looks like they're getting ready to roll down that hill. Fun time. Uh, I think two's fine. Let's see. Let's get gray. This one here could be gray. This one's kind of close, so it's going to be a little bigger. Not as big as I have it there in the sketch. Uh, this squat one could be gray too. Let's do red. Next, we'll get on another layer. Make this one here red. This one here going in between the seams. We'll make red, but we've got to make sure this is actually above panel three. Let's get a red one way up here. Get green. We'll do the one in the river green. They're kind of cut off because they're pretty steep in water. And they get their two polyps on. And then up here we'll do green. For this one. But I think even the squat one here. Enjoying the sun. Let's see. I need some blue kills. This one is up there. I don't want to do that one blue. We'll do this one blue. We'll do this one here, blue. I need to make sure I've got these on the other layer. Let's actually do it behind the scale layer. We do this one again. And then this one down here. Uh, 
I guess we'll just go back to make this top one yellow. Okay, and then we'll group these up. We'll call them Gel again. I'm going to rename this one to uh, Gel Top. Okay, third panel. Let's group these up. These ones will be... Yeah. Bean. That time it was my error. Okay. And now we just need to get some gills down. I don't want to do too many grays here in the snowy place. We'll probably leave those for the top. So let's start with blue. Aww. Tiny little plot hole. This one must have just butted off. What a place. Get them down. Now let's make this broad one blue. Let's make one of these top ones red. Make one of these bottom ones red too. And let's get green. I'll make this squat one green. And we'll get this squat one up here to be green. And let's get, we'll let one of these top ones, this top one here, be gray. that other one down here be yellow. Then? Okay, and then let's group these. Rename it to Gil. Okay, so we got the basics down. I'm gonna lower the lines again. I'll just keep it barely visible where I can see where the shading is supposed to be in some of these larger rocks. Because that's next shading and lighting. Let's see. Come back to panel one and to scene. And then let's get a 
and start shading these. I'm trying to think which brush I want to use. I think I'm going to go with Gel Shears um, Texture Sugar. Turn the paper off. Get our color selected. Darken it. Decent read it. Okay, and then let's turn off most of these background stuff. Um, let's get work on these stones here. So we have the light source in this image. It is the sun. So let me just go over here and get one of these. So the sun is in the background, which means most of this back here is going to be in shadow. So it's going to be pretty dark with some rim lighting, like in these places, maybe even here and here, depending on what's going on. I need to make sure when I'm doing these, I'm doing them on a new layer, just in case. So let's go back to the texture brush I had selected. Make sure this is set to flipping mask. And let's shade it. We're going to do on the back side is the darkest. We'll do that. Let's get the ground in. And then the shadow cast by the stone. I gotta make sure I'm on a new layer. Also set this one to clip a mask. And we'll just get the place where they meet here. Get kind of a shadow cast by these gills. Kind of, yeah, this direction. But I'm gonna go through with an eraser set pretty low. Also with the texture brush. Gonna make sure the size is up. through kind of erase these shadows under the gills a little. They're not going to be as dark because the gills are kind of translucent so some of the light does pass through them. So we'll just erase it slightly like that. That's a little lighter than the shadow that they're casting. Okay, uh, next stone. Flipping mask, get our brush, kind of get mostly the bottom and the back side. And then we'll work on this cone shaped one. sure that this bottom one is colored so that it's not peeking through those other stones and we're going to make sure that the separation of the stone is kind of more defined and then we'll get these darker areas these darker cliffs these ones are darker because it'll indicate where a ridge is that our gills are climbing or sitting on. A 
like so. I'm gonna turn off my line art real quick. I don't need it anymore for this panel. Let's take our eraser brush. I'm gonna turn it up, but turn it down in size, turn up the opacity, and get this ridge in under the scale. Okay, and we'll go in and do lighting for those at another time. Let's come do the shading for the smaller stones. And we're gonna make sure we get the bottom of them, but leave the top. Like so. Okay, um, let's group all of this. We'll rename this, rename it, mm, ground, how about that? Okay, ground. Let's decide on the lighting. Let's see, let's go back to the original color, lighten it, desaturate it, and then with the same texture brush we're going to go add some small areas where the sun is shining. So we need to move this, because this cliff is going to have it. Like up here and stuff. Definitely up here. On this ridge. We're going to give the cone rock a little bit of one at the top and on this side. And then the big one is going to have it all up here in this area. And we'll have it fade off here because the shadow cast from these two stones will cut off that light. Okay, let's light the tubes. Gonna desaturate this and darken this. And then we're gonna go in and darken. That's too dark. I'm actually gonna turn down the opacity on the brush. So we can adjust this as needed on the fly. The backs of the tubes so it'll be darker. I gotta fix the lines on this tube back here. I just realized it was looking kind of kind of wrong. Here we go. go. Alright, back to shading. Come on. Here we go. And we've got just about five minutes left. I'm gonna get in here and try to... Uh, let's get it darker in these areas. We'll just finish up the shading on the tube. And then that'll be it. Oh, 
that's why. I was like, why is my color not showing up? I was still on orange. We need to be on this color. Okay, there we go. Super bright. We're just gonna have a little shadow over here. Maybe a little over here. Okay, and then let's get the lighting on these real quick. Go back to the original. We're just gonna have to desaturate it because it's already the brightest it can be. Now we're gonna go in here. And uh, let me make sure I'm on a different layer. That's still too close. Let me desaturate it a little. Okay, that's a little better. We're gonna brighten up the places where the sun would be hitting the tube the most. So it'd have a little bit of reflected light off in this area, coming around, wrapping around the tube. Same here. Little bit wrapping around the edges of the tube. This side is very bright on this one. And then just some lighter effects. Just on the very edges. definitely gonna have to do some color adjustments to this scene. It's looking hyper saturated on my end and on my computer monitor it's actually looking dark. But we're definitely gonna have to do some adjustments to this piece later on. Okay but that's really all the time we have for today. Let me get over here. We're gonna turn this music off. Well, let me sketch my face over. So I just want to take a moment uh, before we leave today, say thank you guys and thank you Jigsoy for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you had fun on this phantom stream as well. Uh, so for today we're done. We'll continue this art piece next week. And uh, tomorrow we'll be back with um, music making in FL Studio. I believe we were working on a song before last year's premiere party, so we'll be going back and finishing that and starting soon. So until next time, space friends, have fun!